As part of the Farm Advisory Service calving vlog series, we followed three producers from, across, uh, from all across Scotland. One calving heifers at two years old, one calving at two and a half, and one calving at three years old. And that reflects the vast majority of producers, or the three producers we looked at, represent the vast majority of the industry that we deal with. Through the year, all three producers had exceptional performance eh, and good results with their heifers. That was really driven by excellent heifer management and good fertility in the breeds that they're working with and the animals they're working with. The performance of the three farms we were dealing with was well above the national average. Each successfully reared and grew their bulling heifers to meet the targets and then successfully got the, the calved heifer back in calf, which is the key to, to all systems. We did a carbon audit for each of the systems and performance was, was pretty good eh, across the board. It's difficult to compare between systems because each system is different. What we do know is that calving heifers younger has a, has a positive impact on your carbon footprint. So where possible, if we can look to reduce the age at calving, we should do that. However, what we have found in this, in this case is that there are very good examples of people calving at 30 months and calving at three years old with positive stories to tell on a carbon footprint basis. Choosing the right age at first calving depends on your system and what you want to achieve. There's no one size fits all, but as I said before, if we can calve them earlier, we should aim to do that. So all the videos uh, for the calving vlog series are available on the Farm Advisory Service website. And along with that, there's also a case study for each farm. <laughs>